I like horror movies. So, since All Hallows' Eve is drawing near, I figured I'd tell you a few spooky, spooky, spooky tales involving guitar players and other musicians. Don't be afraid. Or do. <laughs> Um, okay, let's start. Black Sabbath. You've heard of them. Their first album not only shared the band's name, but also the title track. And we all can recall the famous lyrics, Figure in Black Stands Before Me. Apparently, the story goes that this particular line of the song had been inspired by a frightening encounter Butler claimed to have had. That's Geezer Butler, the bass player. He says he awoke suddenly from a horrific nightmare only to find that a ghostly figure, clad entirely in black, had been standing near his bed as though observing him while he slept. It begs the question, why would a ghost be watching you while you sleep? That's a little unsettling, wouldn't you say? This wouldn't be the only strange ghostly encounter with the figure in black that the band members would report. During the composition of Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, Tony Iommi claimed he had witnessed a ghost in the armory of Clearwell Castle in the Forest of Dean. Later, during an interview with Guitarist Magazine, Iommi recounted his sighting of an apparition in a haunted castle. We were setting up the gear in the dungeons and were the only people there. It was myself and Giza, and myself and Ozzy, and we were walking down the hallway and we saw a cloaked figure coming towards us. We thought, who's that? He walked into a room and we followed to see, and there was nobody there. We told the people about it who owned the castle. We thought they'd think we were mad, but they just said, Oh yes, that's the castle ghost. How'd you like my accent? Good? So, was that black figure following Black Sabbath? There's only one way to know. Be dead, I guess. Moving on. February 3rd, 1959 was when Buddy Holly died in a plane crash near Clear Lake, Iowa. The event has since been known as the day the music died. A terrible tragedy, of course, but something ghostly has also come of it. Residents of Clear Lake have reported seeing a phantom plane in the area, and even ghostly plane lights in the field. That's spooky. Next, the Dakota Hotel in New York City has generated some alarming reports. Apparently, New Yorkers were reported seeing the apparition of John Lennon hanging around the Undertaker's door outside the Dakota Hotel. Of course, this is where Lennon was murdered in 1980. Several books have been written by mediums that claim to be in contact with Lennon, who appears to be having a fine time in the afterlife and, according to the mediums, is partying with John Wayne and Clark Gable. I thought I just saw John Lennon. Whew! I'm not sure why he'd want to hang out at the Dakota where all the John Wayne parties happen, but maybe he's there to indulge his fans who've made the long pilgrimage to New York City to pay their respects. Because, you know, Lennon's nice like that. Let's talk about our next story. According to multiple sources, the ghost of Jim Morrison apparently still hangs out in Sunset Studios in Hollywood, where other great artists like Led Zeppelin and Janis Joplin also recorded. The studios are still active today, and eerily, bands have reported strange occurrences. Lights flipping on and off, instruments going out of tune, knobs being turned by an unseen hand, etc. Perhaps the Lizard King is attempting to get some production work in from beyond the grave. Next story. When singer Brian Johnson was invited to join ACDC after the untimely death of Bon Scott, it's pretty safe to say he had some big shoes to fill. The night before the band was scheduled to go into the studio to record their hit Back in Black album, Johnson was staying in a hotel and his nerves were getting the better of him. Johnson refuses to say exactly what happened, but he mentioned feeling something there in the room with him almost as if Bon Scott was there giving his blessing. Johnson did report he didn't feel fear for his life, but he didn't feel safe. So I guess that's like the best thing you can hope for if you're visited by a ghost, that it doesn't want to kill you, but it's saying, good luck. 
Our final story isn't necessarily a ghost story, but an eerie one all the same. It's probably one you've heard before, but it's time to bring it up again. If you play the timeless Led Zeppelin offering of Stairway to Heaven in reverse, at a very specific point in the song, you will hear messages from the underworld. I don't know about you, but I never want to go near a tool shed again. Not that I really visit tool sheds that often, but um, now I'm never going to. So my friends, that will conclude our spooky tales. I hope I didn't rob you of any sleep you were hoping to get, but all I can say to you is this. Be safe tonight. You never know who's watching you. What's that? Gotcha.